Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Rafiqi Safan bin Salim and today my team and I will be presenting our poster about cybercrime. Our poster which consists of five paragraph. The first is introduction. The second, third and fourth is the main body. And the final one is the conclusion. I will start the presentation by giving the introduction of our poster. Okay, first of all, what is cybercrime? Cybercrime is defined as illegal activities that utilize network connected device such as computer. Okay, there are few types of cybercrime. For example, phishing, identity theft and hacking. Here's a few examples of recent cybercrime incidents. For example, a cyber attack on the Malaysian Armed Forces and the US Department of Treasury Computer Network by hackers. Assalamualaikum. My name is Mam Ozaif Abi Hamza. To continue this presentation, I will present about how cybercrime happens. For the first topic sentence, cybercriminals have easy way to access data. First, supporting details. The problem behind safeguarding a computer system from unauthorized access is that there are many possibilities of breach due to the complex technology. Secondly, hackers can still access codes, retina images, advanced voice recorders, and many more that can fall by multi system easily and bypass firewalls. This can be utilized to get past many security systems. And for the concluding sentence, cybercriminals nowadays are somehow more intelligent than the artificial intelligence AI. Second topic sentence, cyber criminals are economically motivated. For the supporting details, firstly, unlike crimes committed in the physical world, cyber crime requires little to no investment to be carried out. Criminals operate by, by, by hiding behind the network and the dangers of criminality are less apparent. Second, the perception of low risk and very high financial reward prompts many cyber criminals to engage in many ways such as malware, phishing, identity theft and fraudulent money request attacks. And concluding sentence, cybercrime is a worth to try but once you get caught be ready for the consequences. Third, sub third topic sentence, computers are too complex for some people. Supporting details, firstly, the computers run on operating system and this operating system are a program of millions of codes that not many people understand it. Secondly, negligence is one of the human characteristics of human conduct. So there may be a possibility that protecting the computer system, we may make any negligence which provides cyber criminal access and control over the computer system. Conclude the sentence. Negligence of computer's operation system may give the space for the criminal to breach in the system. And last topic sentence, cyber criminal become eager because of loss of evidence, which means in supporting details, data related to the crime can be easily destroyed after the crime happens. Secondly, crime activities cannot be traced during investigation because of their intelligence. And for the concluding sentence, Cyber criminal will keep doing the crime as long as they do not get caught. That's all for me. Proceed to the next presenter. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. I am one Ahmed the name one Zana Abidin two two zero zero twenty two. So for today, I would like to talk about the effects of cyber crime. The effects of cyber crime will be separated into two different groups which are society and individual for the first group which is society the effects of the cyber crime and security costs the companies that has been ruined by the hackers will have to spend their extra money to improvise and fix their security system secondly this company's sales also will be dropped so bad because the hackers doing so they lost a lot of money and profits Next, for the next group is individual. The effects of cybercrime is cyberbullying. As we all know, cybercrime also includes private information leakage. 
So the victim's private information will be leaked by the hackers and that will lead to cyberbullying. The second effect of cybercrime is financial loss where our bank card information will be leaked by the hackers and will be used by them for their own benefits. I think this is all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am 2200254 Muhammad Shami Masuri from Class on Teski One. Today I want to share about how to prev- preventing the horrified crime on the internet, which is cybercrime. In today's society, there are many aspects of crime committed on a regular basis. Civilians take advantage of people using online resources such as fraudulent websites requiring credit card information to get a free monthly trial. Other venues that may contain a potential for cybercrime are online chatting websites full of predators or websites requiring a downloadable program that contains a hacking virus. Sadly, this there are many cases of cybercrime populating the internet. Acts of cybercrime are considered violent act like any other. Every day, citizens are constantly losing money and being victims due to a very variety of fraudulent activities. Cybercrime, including fraud, identity thief, stalking and hacking, is a growing problem which can be prevented by taking the proper precautions. The biggest case of cybercrime are cases of fraud. Only fraud comes in many forms. It ranges from viruses that attack computers with the goal of retrieving personal information to immense scams that lure victims into wiring money to fraudulent sources. What is online fraud? When browsing the internet, when browsing the internet, people will stumble upon websites offering a free trial. Some of these websites are real, but many are fake. Real example can include one like Netflix, Hulu. Or Amazon Prime, a fake website such as one offering to grid of a deal often contains a time of fraud to gain access to credit card information. Protection against offender requires cautionary step. Preparators act as hacker who entrap personal information while victims are online, either through websites entry or through only emails in which they disguise themselves as legit, legit, legitimate firms attracting victims to do business with them. Keeping personal information secure on the internet is vital for any person's safety. Never give out credit card information online to any company unless the company is verified. One way of checking for authenticity, authenticity is to see, see if the websites have a verification certificate. These certificates cannot be given to any websites unless it is approved to take vital information. This is a safe way of making sure credit card information is not given to anyone who might steal it. Although they do not take credit card when dealing on Craigslist, never ship anything for any reason. As this is a scam, instead, the deal should be handled in person. There is no safe way on the internet to ship any item between private parties, so it is best to avoid anyone wanting to work with shipping or money shipments. That's all from me. Thank you. For the conclusion of our poster, we now know the mechanism, the prevention method, and the consequences of cybercrime. However, we must be always on guard as cybercrime always continue to evolve and finding new ways against our defensive strategy. Thus, it is highly recommended that authorities around the world should come together and work together as a team to negate further exploitation of cybercrime. That is all from our team. Thank you.